is Demola Adeoju. To some, he is the highly principled and hard-working managing director of Elizade Autoland Limited. But to others, he is a compassionate and generous fellow with a profound appreciation for fresh pounded yam. Today is a day to celebrate all the things that make up the man and the mission that is Demola Adeoju and to tell his story. Born in Lagos on the 21st of October to Chief Michael Adeoju OON and the late Mrs. Elizabeth Wuraola Adeoju, Demola was a playful and happy child. His father describes the day of his birth as one of indescribable joy. Demola was a blessing eagerly awaited by his parents and especially by his older sister, Deola. His father said, I had gotten a girl and now I have a boy. Thanks to the almighty God, just what I wanted, I have equalized. He continued to recall that between the ages of one and two, Demola enjoyed being carried on my neck with his hands holding my head and I holding his legs over my chest while I sang a song from Ilaramoki, our hometown in Ondo State. Demola enjoyed a fun-filled childhood permeated with toys and football and bike riding in a much safer Lagos. But he did have a few accidents because sometimes he didn't face where he was going as his dad says. There was a day he was playing outside as a child and a twig got stuck in his eye. Scared, he quickly closed his eyes as his loved ones surrounded him and expected panic ensued. He's gone blind, they declared. They rushed him to his mother who took him to Luth. Once inside, the doctor stood before him and said, Open your eyes, which no one had said to him up until this point. He then opened his eyes. The twig fell out and all was well. This quirky story evokes a powerful message of overcoming fear and staying calm in daunting environments. A lesson that would serve Demola well as his story continued. As a young boy, Demala was enamored with the idea of flight and had grand aspirations of becoming an aeronautical engineer. As many know, he ended up abandoning aerodynamics and plane design for a successful career in the automotive industry. But he clearly had a taste for excellence even as a young boy, setting him up to be the principled, dedicated and hard-working man that he is today. But apart from all this history, who really is he? You might know him as Demo Baba, listening to the Beastie Boys and watching Cobra in the 80s. Maybe you know the story of baby bro Demo, who stayed in his sister's co-ed dorm at the University of Miami during a midterm break from Pinecrest High School, Florida. This cheeky high schooler was too shy to use the co-ed bathroom, so he peed into a bottle in his sister's bedroom. Thankfully, she noticed the bottle was suspiciously warm to the touch before she poured out her post-lecture glass of Sprite. Or maybe you remember Demo, young aspiring Lagos big boy, a lad who stole his parents' hip and happening Toyota Celica to go and party with his cousin. Off the cruise down Marina Bridge, when from out of nowhere, an iron rod smashed the windscreen of the car and ground the trip to a halt, they sat in the car in shock, silently thanking God they were safe and knowing that they should probably go back home like good boys. But as many of you know, it's not easy to be a happening guy in Lagos. So they carried their shattered windscreen and headed to the party to rock until dawn. Big boy Demo and his cousin vowed each other to secrecy and steadfastly returned home to face the inevitable punishment that awaited them, an experience that solidified their friendship for life. So that was Demo Baba, Big Boy Demo, the party rocker. But how many of you know about